Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna create again our building. Actually not create again, we will continue to create it. We already did a lot of the things. We already create our grids on the, our floor plan. We already create our grids on, on the elevation and our levels too. But today we already switched to the project. So, and we will start from the one mainest thing. Uh, yes, I'm always saying we're starting main thing, but in Revit everything in main. But today we're gonna talk about the two things. We will uh, create the columns and we will create the project base point. This is really important if you are working not alone in the project. Let's get started. And we will start from the, our base point and survey point. All countries have different standards with the beam. Some uh, some have the standards, some don't. Some company have own standards, some not. But the thing, uh, you need to coordinate different models. And the one thing what we have for all of the standards, you should somewhere have the um, point where you will locate, where you will coordinate all your models. Let's say this point will be A, this point, A, and one, this one. So why, in, why it will be here? Because we will make here our survey point for all our subconstructors uh, and they will place the survey point and basement base point also on this grid. So we will have exactly all the uh, base point on the one place. Where our base point, you will say, so we can find it by using the double key, double time tap on the, your keyboard by VV, like that. Or you just can go to the view and if you here you will find under the visibility graphics. Go here to the site, just find the, here the site, it's here. Open up it and here you will see two uncheck boxes. Project base point, let's move it on. And survey point, let's move it on too. And let's say okay. And as you can see, our points it's exactly now on the somewhere. Uh, on this project, it's exactly on the center. But as I said, we wanna move it uh, from this side to here. So let's do that. How you can do that? Uh, we have two different points here: survey point and base point. Survey uh, base point. This is like a cycle. And like a triangle one, this is survey point. And we will start exactly from the survey point. Uh, let's say we don't have any of the coordinates. I mean, the like the uh, south or the north, we don't have any coordinates. And we want to exactly place it here with the coordinates like 0, 0, 0. If, if it's so, just don't do anything and move it. Like I will do that. Just from the center, I will move it here. And as you can see, we kept, uh, we kept our zero for all our coordinate. Once you will uncheck it box, this box if you will uncheck and you will move it, you will see we get now coordinates. Now this point moving, moving from this point. So this is really important, guys. Uh, if you no need these uh, coordinates, if you wanna leave it like a zero, don't move it with the, this uncheck box. Let's we will use the Ctrl Z for that one. Let's will select it again to check to see is it everything correct. Yeah, everything correct. And I will uncheck it again. Once you will uh, change the, your survey point, only after that change your uh, base point. Why? Because your base point exactly following your survey point. If you will see. Here's our survey point and it's zero, zero, zero. But here we have like 10,000 something and 17,000 something. Why? 10,000 something. Here's 10K. And here is the 17K. So, and as you understand, here exactly your point. So, this is mean now this point following exactly your survey point. We should place it exactly on one place for this project. If you, for example, have the project with the, some side boundaries, like the, with the side, better to place your survey point on the start position of your side. Here will be your survey point. Uh, sorry, let me I will do more correct. Here is, will be your survey point. 
and your basement base point will be better placed on the grid. So here will be zero zero, and here will be something like two meter or twelve meter by I don't know ten meter. So it's also working, but if you have the site, if you working like me, you don't have any site, you have just a project. Better place, uh, better uh, put your, or your survey point and base po point on the one grid. It will be better for you. Let me I will select my uh, base point and let's use the move. Let's move it from the center and let's move it exactly to the side. Done. Now our project starting from this point and this point exactly on the one and a grid. So we're done with that. We are really good. And now we can move it on other topic, which is uh, columns. As you can see, our column it's really not standard one. Uh, can me let me I will switch it off my uh, base survey point so you can just go to the side and switch it off the uh, base and survey point. Okay. So and as you can see, our column it's not standard one. We should create it. Better to create it. Let me I will do that. Let's go to the file, new. Here we will find the family. And we will go to the, uh, let me use the uh, English one. And here we will use um, the column. It's here, metric column. Let's use it and let's go there inside. Now let me I will show you how we can create our column. We first I will draw for you and after that we will create it. Uh, as you know, we need to create column something like that. So so what does it mean? Uh, here will be our highest point and here is will be our width. Okay, for this side it's really easy. We will place uh, two lines. For here we will place one more uh, reference line. And after that we will do something like that. Here also we will place a reference line and here we will do something like that. So it's really hard to understand what I mean, but I will I will I try to show you. We will use the reference plane. Let's draw, draw one more here and one more here. After that we will use dimension from here, here and here. Let's select our dimension and let's say this is, will be equal. Okay, so nice. What gonna do next? Once our dimensions will be uh, equal, we need to understand how it will be overall. And here is our depth, but we will change a bit uh, for this the uh, parameter, the name of the parameter. Let me I will say this is will be uh, low depth. Let's say low depth and let's say okay uh, let me I will change the scaled one to the 10 and I will go to the parameters right now our we have the depth the our depth it's like original uh, dimension and we will use that once we will change it so our depth will be like that we will uh, divide it divided it by 2 yeah, divided by, let me, let me think, divided by 3, it will be 200. Yes, we want, we will do like that. Depth minus divided by 3, 400. Yeah, much better. So, for example, what we, uh, I, I have done, if I will change, for example, to the 1200, it always will keep keep the uh, same distance. We will do 800. As you can see, it's trying to keep the same distance. We will do 600, and this will be something like that. Awesome. We actually we <laughs> done half of the work. Now we just should do use the our extrusion. Let's do extrusion, and let's draw our lines. First line will be on this side. The second line will be on this side. Now let's use the align key. Let's use the align. On the keyboard you will find like a line. On the ribbon it's here. 
let's use a where we want to align and what we want to align as in lock it don't forget to lock it once you will finish let's use the same thing for this side align to here this dot lock it align to here this dot and lock it and let's do the same thing for the other side too like this after that we need the line let's use the line again and let's connect from this side to here and let's use the align key for now let's lock it and let's lock it too let's do the same thing here we can actually use the align key again lock it let me will hide it okay and let's do the same thing here okay done let me I will now finish it and i will try how it's working let me I will change now to the 1200 and let's say okay and as you can see it's perfectly working let's change it to 400 like stress test and it's working let me back to the 600 oh to, i mean to the 800 and we will change now the width like 1200 let's say okay and it's also working done we already done the column uh, let me I will place it on the same position like that and it looks like what we want but it's not finished actually we should go now to the uh, some elevation view and we should connect to the uh, this our co future column to this level line and saying okay done now it's done you can select now your future column and apply some material if you want let me i will apply a material because it will be really right uh, thing we want to use the concrete for that let's create the new material i will call it concrete concrete we can apply uh, some some material if you want or you just cannot leave it like concrete Okay, and let's load it this family inside to the uh, our project. You can don't save it, just load it. Let's load it to the our project. It's already here. And now we should go to the architecture column, and let's choose our column. This is actually architecture column, and it's here family one. Oh, this is my mistake. It's name family one. This is a really terrible thing because we should save it with the uh, right name let me first i will save it with the right name or you can actually do other thing you can find it here under the columns let me will find it under the columns family and just rename it you can do like that and let's say arch ir column It's also possible to do like that. Now, once you will select, you will see this AR column, family one. You can also just change the name of that. Let's say this is, will be 800 by 400. And it is like that. As you can see, 800 by uh, 400. Now, we can place our column here. Actually, our column, as you can see on this drawing, it's much bigger. It's like 800 by, by what? Let me will check by 1500 let me will change it let's duplicate it 1500 by 800 and let's change it 1500 by 800 and let's say okay now it looks like what we want let's select now our column and let's place it where we want where is my column here? For example, when you're working with the, your underlay, it's not useful because uh, you're always selecting your underlay. To switch it off, I mean not selecting some uh, pinned object, just uh, click here, select pinned elements, this one. 
and now you not will select any pinet elements so it means you can uh, really uh, working uh, with the, some comfort with the uh, your underlay now you can use the align key for example and you can align your don't don't lock it sorry uh, it just bad habit from the uh, when you're creating the some families and uh, you align your column now you can easily copy your column one by one like that you can actually use uh, for example not not like that you can uh, copy it with dynamo if you want uh, but better do it one by one because this project it's not so big and i don't think so it will take a lot of the time so what we did in this tutorial in this tutorial we already finished uh, our column now we just should place our column for in the our first level I think it's don't don't uh, it's not big uh, work, but you can do that. Just uh, try to align everything. As you can see, the underlay not working perfectly because some of them um, not working really perfectly. But anyway, we we are working on the right way, and it will help us later on. So let me I will copy by multiply, and we will finish this tutorial today, like this like this here we have the some special column i not will place it here so here we will create some special other column let's say this is, will be your homework let's try to make this type of the column here you have the column and here don't look on this side just look on this one try to do that i will place it this small column here it's here and as you can see there it's really small let me will try this one and yes this is exactly 800 by 400 and as i remember we have the same column sorry let me will try to align let me try to align i will delete this uh, green line i don't need it right now and let me will copy it on the other side too Okay, like this. Oh, we don't have it here. Nice. Actually, we're done with that. Let me go to the 3D. And as you can see, all our columns going to the to level 2. This is right. So, guys, we, fi we finish on this tutorial. Uh, just like I say, like, as I say, your homework will be finished these two types of the column. And the next tutorial, we will continue to create our first level. And after that, we will create our floors and we will create first our interior walls. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next tutorial.